did it. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. My god, Number Company managed to pull me out of my decrepit cave and make some Halo content. On the real though, I've been stuck in Starfield for many, uh, many, many, many hours. But when I saw this trailer, I decided to rejoin society and start playing Halo again. There's a lot of changes coming. Um, I'm a big multiplayer guy. I freaking love multiplayer. The career ranking was one of the most important things to me and they're finally giving a reward for the max rank. And it's the Halo Infinite Campaign Master Chief Armor, which is pretty freaking sweet. But forgeable AIs, that's like the coolest thing. I've wanted that since Halo Reach. People were rumoring that back in Halo Reach and it's finally actually happening. That means custom campaigns, custom firefight, brand new PvE game modes all that fun stuff but one of the things that excites me the most is seeing the mark 5 finally come to the game this is the most underappreciated set of armor for some reason i freaking love it although i'm kind of curious to see how it matches up with the marcus leto model that he did a few years ago because that one looks pretty good it's got a lot to compete with if it's its own model i don't mind the idea of them shortening the battle pass and getting rid of all that filler and stuff so long as they justify it with solid good content for the money i understand they have to make money so i'm not totally against it i kind of just buy stuff if i like it but mark five oh. shut up and take my money i'm not sure if i'm excited about extraction i guess we'll see how it plays um i wasn't big on halo 4 so i don't even remember it i may have never played it another really small detail i noticed is that the background of one of these new maps has a halo ring in it pretty crazy right for a game called halo there seems to not be a lot of maps on a halo ring another thing that really excites me are these flood cosmetics didn't see that one coming it actually looks like there's quite a variety of older armors with this like flood aesthetic put on it and that's pretty freaking sweet i am actually really interested in the seasonal narrative and i'm curious if they're adding a lore reason to why the flood are coming back i don't necessarily think there needs to be one if it's just like a fun spooky event but they already started the narrative so they might as well just go all out at that rate but anyway thanks for watching keep it real halo players peace